Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. This is Troy D from the Troy D 24-7 Mall on Point Reviews all day, every day. First and foremost, I want to thank our new subscribers. If you're new here, you just got here, welcome. There's a lot to navigate on. I made sure to put some playlists together so you can actually just go through those playlists depending on what you're looking for. Whether you're looking for top 10s, you're looking for spring summer hits, you're looking for just niche for the fall, we have those types of playlists. Now today, we're going to talk about... I mean, if you're a Bodicia, the Victorious Collector, or if you are curious about this line, we're going to talk about one of the top sellers from the brand. And that data is coming from the brand itself. You know, they basically said this one is one of our top sellers. We're going to hack it today because there's not a lot of people that either own this or talk about it. We're going to talk about it today. This is none other than Bodicia, the Victorious Almas. Bodicia, the Victorious Almas. Almas meaning diamond. So this one has a little diamond thing down there. I doubt that's a real diamond, but this has been actually one of the most worn scents that I've had recently, and I really want to talk about it today, especially for those that are curious. The price is also astronomical on this, but then that's what you can expect with Bodicia the Victorious. So today we're going to talk about Almaz by Bodicia. Let's hit the music. All right, welcome back. Bodicia the Victorious Almaz. Definitely, definitely one of the best Bodicias probably out there. One of the top selling ones based on the company. Now, Almaz right here is plain and simple a rosewood yet again. I think that Bodicia really has a huge clientele in the Gulf. That's what I think. I mean, the guy that owns the most Bodicias I know, his name is Sultan from Sultan Sense. I mean, he has the most Bodicias I know, and he's from over there. So, I mean, and if you look at the website, they do have like all these like shipping packages if you're from the Gulf. It's like free or something like that. So, you know that they do have a huge like Gulf clientele. And, you know, this is the umpteenth like rosewood I've gotten from Bodicia the Victorious. I've got a carbon sapphire. I've got Nemer. Uh, what else do we got? Um, Dasman. And then here's one, Almaz. This is another rosewood. But you know what's interesting about this is that whenever I get a rosewood, I make sure to check like why is this different? You know, why? What is going on with this one? And I try to explain to everybody because most likely if you're in the market for Bodicias, I mean, you'll only be able to get one at a one at a time or one every other time unless you're like balling out of control, right? So anyways, uh, Bodicia the Victorious Almas. Again, it is a rose oud. However, for me, this is actually one of my more like worn rose ouds compared to the others. And I'll tell you exactly why. Uh, some of the others are... Uh, you know they're they're very opulent you know like high level opulent in the way they are that i think you know i would wear those to you know basically any special occasion right whether it's a baptism you know or it's like a wedding or something like that like or any place where i'm the the celebrant like maybe when i hit 40 i'll probably wear bodicia rose oud very very opulent rose oud this one almas to me the first impression I got after like maybe a few days that I was wearing it is that this one is actually very wearable, very like day to day almost, you know, like of course it's like elegant, of course it smells expensive, of course it smells rich, but this would be like the equivalent of like a grabber rosewood compared to the other brothers that it has in the Bodicea lineup. Just on the notes itself, this one has pineapple. Think about that. Coriander. Cassis. We talked about Cassis on the last video I did from MDCI. Cassis is basically what? Like black currant. It's like a black currant oil. Um, Artemisia. Saffron. Cardamom. Cardamom. You know, and then you have uh, rose. Turkish rose. You have geranium. You have neroli. You have jasmine. And then on the base, you have suede, agarwood, cedar, sandalwood, patchouli, moss, vanilla, musk and amber amber you can see right here look at the liquid amber for sure you compare that to number which has no amber look at that see same rose ouds but this one has amber now 
this one just like a Roja has like a ton of notes but I'm just gonna talk about basically the highlights so the pineapple here is not a Ventus uh, no uh, the pineapple here is not even really bright however the pineapple here when you mix it with you know the Cassus when you mix it with uh, the Jasmine I mean it really becomes this very very wearable very very grounded uh, scent okay it's not uplifting but there's a there's a vibe to it that kind of makes you want to wear it like a lot uh that's the the main difference maybe with that that pineapple that non-bright pineapple and then you have the cassis you have the the saffron which we love uh coriander as well a little bit of uh spice out there is something that you want to wear it's like it's sweet but it's not like super bright sweet so i think for a man like this is something you're gonna pull out you know if you really want to wear a rose wood but then you're not thinking about uh an opulent event like you're literally just gonna go out maybe shop at a high-end mall maybe or go out and hang out with friends maybe have coffee on an outdoors patio or something like that uh this is something that you it would probably come into mind more than the other ones you know and i'm not saying the other ones are bad i mean uh, the other ones are actually sometimes far more superior but this one here really gives you that feel of day to day now uh one of the most uh prominent notes here is suede okay suede guys which is when you have this suede here actually i've tried perfumes middle eastern perfumes that actually have an overdose of suede uh i don't like that okay i don't like it when that does it because it's not even appealing it's not even nice uh it's trying to be like super macho which i hate so much because being super macho is really annoying uh i know a bunch of people in the fragcom that are trying to be super macho and they look idiotic every time they do that super macho ain't good when it's fragrance but a little bit of macho is actually nice the suede here is actually blended so well that you can only really experience it after a few hours and it's still blended with another really sweet note and that's amber so when you have the suede and amber binding together you do have this amazing combination of macho but at the same time warm cozy and inviting with the amber that's in here okay uh this one here isn't a blaster either i feel like this is something that uh is almost like just a six to seven inch scent away from you uh it's quite different from dasman i did dasman a few days ago or a week ago and dasman was a ooh, that was a blaster you know that was some dragon ball <laughs> dragon ball aura rose oud this one here th i guess that's why it gives me that feel of like a day-to-day -day because it's not like a super strong blaster it's right there nice moderate sillage uh, and again, it has no hints of like super opulent, not at all. I mean, it really does have that, uh, that vibe of like, I want to smell great today with the royalty of rose oud, but I can casually wear it. Okay. There's something about, you know, the, the way that there's the cardamom, the pineapple, the saffron, you know, and then when you mix it with the geranium, neroli even, and jasmine, uh, it makes this rose oud that's supposed to be dark it's supposed to be formal it's supposed to be like well, super middle eastern it makes it it blends it in with a lot more appeal and then with the suede it's like a little bit of macho amber with that sweet warm cozy end to it or well, amber musk and vanilla it's really nice you know i mean to me like i said this is to me a very like casually worn you could say expensive bodicia i heard this is expensive this is like what six hundred dollars or eight hundred dollars um so for the rose oud collector definitely try it uh if you are into dissecting the nuances or the differences between all the rose ouds in the world i mean for me i have no choice this is what i get you know when you when you're doing uh you know a lot of uh niche fragrances you know you're gonna get rosewood here rosewood there rosewood there you're gonna get a ton of rosewood and so i actually enjoy the fact that i can kind of dissect it and be like oh this rosewood is for this this rosewood is for that for me almaz here california man i can wear this 
and we do have enough things to do here uh, whether it's interacting socially with different people or just shopping in near, in a in a really nice department store for example where Almaz would be a perfect match uh, it doesn't shout super opulence it does shout op it, it does shout, it does it does shout expensive but again very likable notes very somewhat macho and cozy balanced combination I really kind of like it okay um, and this is I to me it is worth buying after you have tried a bunch of rose ouds and I would say if you have decided what you would wear it for you know I mean unless you're really a collector you just you just going non-stop right but if you have rose ouds and you've kind of figured out like man where am I gonna wear these rose ouds and uh, maybe you've seen uh, you've tried rose ouds where you're saying man I can wear this just day to day or like on the weekends I think Almaz is a great fit make sure you guys try it I really like it as well so I'm not surprised that it's one of the top most sold Bodicias because maybe for the golf people too the guys at the golfs, the gals at the golf, they're like, man, you know, it's hot right now. We're gonna hang out at the mall. What's the what's the fragrance that we can wear to the mall? Alma's right there. I'm not surprised why it's a top seller. Okay, but very very nice as well. So that's it. That's my really quick review of Bodicia, the victorious Almas. Don't forget that I do have a ton of Bodicia reviews. All you have to do is go to my channel, search Bodicia the Victorious. You'll find a lot of Bodicias. A lot of people have never ever reviewed, especially the new Fire Sapphire. I'm going to link that at the end of the video. We're going to get Nebulous, guys. If you guys are curious about Nebulous, one of the most expensive Bodicias, $2,000. Man, a good friend of the channel sent us a sample. We're going to get that nebulous. We're going to hack that. We're going to talk about that. So I hope you guys are excited. So make sure you like this video and subscribe if you're into Bodicias or if you love niche fragrances in general. Okay? So that's it. That's my video. I'll see you guys soon. Until then, this is Troy D. God bless. Take care. Mm -hmm.